Bros play. No, one thing I've just noticed from this ice dude. So he's dropping those ice shards, and each of them is the same thickness as one of those little blocks. Or sorry, oh. half of the thickness of one of those little blocks. Yeah. Maybe a little over. But it's a third of the thickness of one of the big ones. Like you can see, they fall either in the very center of one of those gaps or on one of the two edges. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's really cool when you see the symmetry because their game is probably, you know, everything's in a base of either 16 or 32 pixels wide. And then you just base everything off that. It wouldn't surprise me if they designed this game with a grid. Like a lot of games are designed with grids. I don't really think there's any games that aren't designed with grids. I could see maybe a third person game like Dark Souls might not have as many grids. Although maybe they need grids even more. Well, I think you probably begin by establishing a level, like a blueprint, you know, from, oh, right, from right. the top down. And But you're right, you definitely wouldn't align things in the same way. Um, I guess there's not a whole lot of 2D games, you're right, that actually don't have this sort of like blocky, uh, rigidly defined platform limits. Mm -hmm. Well, because you couldn't really have a platformer without being very well informed on what you're jumping on. Yeah. Have you seen John Tron's uh, Bubsy video? Bubsy? No. Oh my god. It is one of the funniest fucking things. It's like they didn't even know what games were. <laughs> and it's so consistently bad throughout generations. Like they didn't fuck up one Bubsy that I'm pretty sure they fucked them all up. <laughs> and what system is this for? Slash systems. Uh, okay, so I think it was in that era where there were many systems. <laughs> um, like the Atari generation? Yeah, yeah, and the Segas and stuff. I wasn't around for that, so I'm really unfamiliar with that stuff. But um, there was definitely... Th they were before PlayStation 1, and then they went to 3D in PlayStation 1, and it was so bad. <clears throat> Poured in a beaker, stuffed in a bag, just as always, got the sweat. Okay, okay, this is the third time now. I'm pretty sure that's the same thing every time. <laughs> oh, yeah, I actually didn't even... I was like, oh, he always seems to rhyme. Dabbing. Uh, da uh, Berserker's brew. Damage enemies on contact without getting knocked back. Ooh. Ooh. I guess that means you still take damage, though? Probably. Probably. This is, are they going to spawn enemies? Yeah, of course they're going to spawn enemies. They want you to use it now. Ah, ah. Oh, it's a brew. I get it. So you did, in I fact, take health. It. Or damage. <laughs> you took health. You took his health. Uh, what that? Oh, um. <laughs> we have to go back to that. We never, we never, we, we got like two or three episodes, or four episodes into Oblivion. We did nothing in that game. Uh, that's from Fable, though. Oh, is what that from? Oh, shit. That, see, that, that was one of the first. No, that was the first game we ever played. Fable? Was, no, no, sorry. We haven't. We've never played Fable on the show. Um, uh, Oblivion. And yeah, the, the first, first Bros play game, I think. Yeah, yeah. In the first session, you you made the what that joke, and I I was like, I laughed so fucking hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's uh, the, the guild master says that in Fable, the original uh, Fable. So funny. If you have some skills, you could spend them on this. What that? <laughs> or I think no, it might have been like. Um, your health is low, and you have a health potion. What that? I, ne I never understood it. Yeah, I think that's a glitch, because I'm pretty sure they did it in the Fable Anniversary. With, like, the re-release, I'm pretty sure it still happens. <laughs> <laughs> Just for nostalgia's sake. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna play that again on the show, and uh, I, they they managed to not work out any of the camera problems in the in the original. But we, yeah, anyway, we we promised problems. to talk about uh, we didn't promise, but we we implied that we would be talking about uh, God of War. Um, but, oh yeah, that's true. Um, dominant strategy is prevalent in that game. Fucking shit and fucking wolves. Yeah, it's I a think fucking... that wolf dominated you. <laughs> it's these shit wolves, Randy. <laughs> We're up um, the shit river without any shit bait. <laughs> so God of War. God of War. Um, I thought that those like hold L L1 and press triangle, it does one spinny move, and then you like you press X and it does a different spinny move. And I thought like why would you want to do anything else? But you can't block. I'm pretty sure you can't block in that because it's it's an L1, it's an L1 per, like, uh, permutation. So so L1 is the is the the block button. 
So you're using, like, basically it's like, I think that they classified it as a block move, so you can't block in the middle of that. While as when you're doing your regular um, square and triangle attacks, you can block mid-shot. So like, I thought, like, why would you ever do anything but this? It seems like it's the most overpowered thing, but you, you take so much damage if all you do is those L1 triangle attacks. Yeah, another really good example of that is um, Champion's Return to Arms. Oh. Or... Fucking shit! Got to use that platform, brother. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Champion's either Return to Arms or... No, I think it was Norath I was playing. But either way, the, the premise is the same. You can just mash attack as fast as you want, and your character mm -hmm. will just merc people. But dodge... Or not dodge, block. Blocks pretty much all damage, as long as you block, like, the right direction. Yeah. So it's a really, really big deal, especially because enemies can block you too. Oh. So you actually kind of have to strategize or you're definitely going to get blasted. Um, it was really good to... Oh, sorry. The, the point of bringing up Bubsy was that the game does... It's like... It's a, no, it's like a level zero game joke. Like, this game does a lot of uh, self-aware stuff, but in Bubsy 3D on the PlayStation 1, the, the character is like... Oh, what would a platform game be without a platform? <laughs> it's like, what? Oh, okay, like, like it's a pl fucking shit. No, no. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. Um, it's a platform game with platforms, and the fucking platforms are gray, untextured basic like it's like that is the definition of a platform and they went no further with it <laughs> so there's no context yeah they are just floating platform floating rectangle or i guess um rectangular prisms floating boxes with no textures gray just floating there no context it is just a literal platform there's no <laughs> it's so ridiculous I could see that being fun if you built the mechanics to be really sharp or something, and you came up with a really, like, interesting system. Yeah. But man, that's just laziness, it sounds like. Well, they didn't even know how to make a three-dimensional game. The... You... You basically control, like, a tank <laughs> in a platforming game. You... You can't move left and right like a normal game. You... You have to... You turn left and right like a tank then push forward. <laughs> it is so goofy. It's the, one of the goofiest things I've ever seen in a game. Well, that's actually one of the most challenging ways to make someone control something. Because yeah. then your your brain has to constantly update what direction you think it's moving in. Yeah. And then there's beautiful games like God of War and Jack, Jack and Daxter and all that kind of stuff where when you, when you hold back on the controller or left on the controller, he moves that direction. <laughs> He doesn't require you to only move forward and back. My so favorite game ever, though, was uh, it was called it was an arcade game called Sprint. Mm. So you you would just hit the gas, which I guess was like A or something. Oh yeah. And then you use the shoulder buttons to control your car's steering, but it was relative to the direction your car was facing, not the screen. The screen was static. Yeah, and then it, I remember that game. I rem you remember how hard we giggled when we <laughs> discovered that game? Holy fuck, we couldn't even play. <laughs> it, it was essentially like those, uh, you know, those little racers that go on the electric track. Yeah, and, I know. Um, yeah. yeah, like uh, like uh, the train version of RC racers. Basically, yeah. And uh, they were kind of like that, but the video game version. It was just, it was so ridiculous and yet still controllable at the same time well they designed that game for that style it was intentionally difficult because when when the vehicle turns and your camera doesn't it becomes difficult to understand what uh, how to turn it properly so it took a lot of practice and as a result was hilarious to watch and play so that makes sense like it, it was intentionally difficult um, God of War does something that a lot of games do wrong but for the right reasons the the camera is entirely controlled by the game in god of war like the the right stick is for dodge you don't get to control the camera but they did that on purpose they wanted that to be like that so sometimes it like it was the it was the first in their ip so they, they made some mistakes but in general uh the camera did what it needs to do but the the camera is intentionally designed so that you can't see secrets. So you have to explore the game 
sometimes blindly. It's actually really clever. That makes a lot of sense. Like you said, they plan for that. And uh, sometimes it gets a little confusing. Sometimes like I'm like I'm like, "Oh, fuck you." That like as if I'm supposed to figure that shit out. But in most cases, it's a secret. You're supposed to like explore as the point of, of the of the idea versus this where you just see it. Boom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, Beard Knight, you got something in your ears? This is the only knight with his face showing. Showing. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, weakling. That's a good voice. Thank you. <laughs> You've likely figured out why I'm here. Yes, I need something that you have. You know. I never liked you, wizard. Masks, books, cheap tricks. You're nothing but a weakling. Wee! <laughs> now, grumpy. <laughs> Let's settle this with a snowball fight. I love that. Wee! <laughs> yeah, I don't know where that came from. Uh, oh, platforms are going to be good here. Maybe don't even jump off the platform. Just make it and just start sniping them from there. I'm gonna have to use uh, what's it called soon. <laughs> no, not necessarily. He's still quite a bit lower than you. Fuck! I can't sing too much of that. Get copyright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you definitely don't want to do too good a rendition of anything nowadays. Get your platform out, brother. Get oh, your shit. platform out, uh, brother. Vat. Yep. It's a big old vat. Oh, no. Uh, wow, he's creating a lot of confusion. He actually almost seemed like he was slightly easier as Shovel Knight because he could bounce. Yeah, that's, yeah, interesting. The way that they designed this where it can be done by two things. I, what? No he, one knows. He actually fucking died. He, well... Look at that! Turn to what if he's returning to his native form? Maybe he was originally snow. Maybe yeah. He was, maybe he's the great intelligence. <laughs> yeah, he's he's the abominable snowman. Oh, I I just I cannot I cannot express how much charm there is with this game, especially with like shovel knight has a spade shovel, polar knight has a snow shovel. That is fucking adorable. Yeah, actually. <laughs> Are those icicles I see on your mask? Are you all right? What happened? Oh, that wasn't that wasn't deep enough. That was not on point. <clears throat> Polar night happened, and I couldn't and I wouldn't mind a tropical beach getaway right now, Mona. I don't Perhaps think that's really. <clears throat> Perhaps when this is all over. But let's focus. We're almost ready. So, what are you working on? Ugh. That's her tagline right there. Uh, uh, Thank you for joining, for joining us. us. Yeah, you. that's right. Unison sign-off. I was going to say I beat you, but let's just say it was unison. <laughs> well, you know what? We'll see what happens when the audio files come out. 1,100 miles is a long way to race. You know what? Put it on the screen. Who won? Yeah. Come on, Girth. Be unbiased.